Here you've been left hanging in the middle of creating an AVI file. Now we're going to look at using a particular codec. Now, what are these codecs? Codec stands for Compressor Decompressor. It is the compression format for the way the AVI files and QuickTime files are saved. Each codec, and there are many codecs out there to choose from, all work in different ways. And without getting into too much technical detail, essentially what they do is they compress the animation knowing that it needs to be played back at a certain frame rate with a certain level of quality. And each codec accomplishes this in a slightly different way. This dialog box allows you to select your compressor and in some cases adjust the initial quality settings as well as enter the number of frames in between each keyframe. A keyframe in a codec is different than a keyframe in 3ds Max. Certain compressors only play back the changed pixels instead of displaying each frame individually. Setting a keyframe allows the animation to be played, paused, and scrubbed by providing a complete image at the keyframe interval. It's this playback of only the changed pixels from frame to frame that allows many codecs to provide a high level of compression for animation. For example, if you only had a sphere moving across a screen and nothing else in your image changed, you could end up with a very highly compressed animation file that plays back very quickly even on slower computers. However, if you had the same scene and everything in that scene was moving, the animation would not be able to be compressed as well because nearly all the pixels are changing from frame to frame. By clicking in the compressor dropdown, you can change the codec that you want to use for compressing your animation. I only have a few codecs to choose from that are installed on my computer. However, you may have more. And you can download codecs from the internet depending on what your needs are. When choosing a codec, be careful. Generally, the higher the quality, the larger the file, and the faster the computer you're going to need to play it back on. You want to balance quality and file size. And you want to make sure that your client can play back the codec that you choose. So this may take some experimentation and going back and forth working with your client to make sure that they can view the files that you're sending them. Now click OK to dismiss the dialog box. The RAM player will take some time. It may sit there and appear to be locked up, but there's something going on behind the scenes. What it's just done is it's converted the sequence of PNG files into an AVI file that you can now send to your client for playback.